Riverina Blood Hughes, ladies and gentlemen. Right out there we go. Right, yeah, good stretch of Hughes. Be very big fat, wouldn't they? Right out into those here today. Right, what's it? 200 to go. 200, 200, 190, 180. Come on, see it out. We got a price in mind. 180. Daniliquin conducted a special sheep sale on Friday. Jason Andrews uh, joins me. Jason, um, not a, 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 a um, market that's normally on the calendar this time of the year for um, for Daniliquin. What prompted the sale? Look, Murray, I, I think probably putting a few a very good spring lambing season, um, a few more numbers, and then you know a lot of our feed probably chopping out with the extreme dry and hot weather that we've had, you know through January, February and the start of March. Yeah, uh, about 15,000 in the yards today. You started off on a, uh, a wing of crossbred sheep. Um, you wouldn't say that they were uh, um, pursued with uh, a great deal of aggression by a very small crowd? There didn't seem to be a lot of vigour there, Murray. Um, I actually was thinking to myself there's probably some very good buying there if you wanted to stack them away um, and maybe look at some spring sales, you know, later on in the year. Um, they didn't. A lot of the sheep didn't present with a lot of condition in bloom, and maybe that had a bit of an effect on, on prices today. Yeah, with the rain that's been around, sort of one to two inches around a, a greater area, you know, thunderstormy type weather, you would have thought that uh, there would have been a bit of opportunity for for some to get into some joint use, uh, an, an early an early stake in claim, especially when there's not a lot of sheep about. Yeah, look, I, I think so. I mean, I think a lot of the older ewes and even in, into the younger ewes were viable today in comparison to where we're seeing the fat sheep market and the fat lamb market um, and the wool market returns. But I, you know, maybe a few of these guys from cropping areas, you know, more broad acre country, um, might be thinking back towards crop again and spraying out and getting ready for that which they would be in the full swing right now yeah um, but it was a small crowd um, and uh, I don't know why yeah the uh, Dony ewes uh, well joined up and, and some multiple sold well at the start of the market yeah look they, they, they didn't uh, they probably made my expectation Murray and, and, and in line with what their older sisters or not their older sisters their sisters made in January yeah um, made very similar money to what they made in January yeah, as you worked your way down through the uh, older use, uh, 105 to 115, 20 dollars for anything that was joined up to a uh, terminal sire. Uh, looked pretty good, uh, a good, a good out for uh, someone who was on an inflated mutton market. Well, I think so. Look, and and as I said before, they they were lacking probably a little bit of condition considering the dry and the hot weather we have had, but still, you know, with the price of grain. The price of grain and the price of lamb, I thought they looked very good buying if you wanted to get into the caper and then do a turnover job. Yeah, where the lamb's at the back of the sale and a few pens of uh, rising two-year-old withers, uh, they looked uh, uh, pretty good buying actually. Well, I think, yes, and, and, and once again, the probably condition was the factor on some of those, which they probably didn't have enough condition on them to to maybe force the butcher's hand to come and you know have a bid on a few of those. Mm. But in saying that, most of the weather lambs had a start in the jacket um, and the older weathers had plenty of frame and a start in the jacket and I think that there's probably value in those guys that did take their opportunity to buy some of those weathers today. Yeah, uh, $64 question, when's the next river in a sheep sale? Well, I'll retort that Murray was when we get the next rain. If we don't get it, we'll have another one probably mid-year somewhere in the Riverina. But if we get a rain, I don't think you'll see anything until the spring.